But would it even be one of my videos if I didn't have a coffee in my hand? Welcome back to my channel, you guys. For today's video, I'm so, so excited to share what I filmed for you guys. This is my first ever workout video that I've posted here on YouTube for you guys to see. In today's video, I will be showing you guys what I did for my back and biceps workout. I've been meaning to do this for so long. I've just never had the courage to actually put one together. Um, I really hope you guys find this video useful. I would love to know if there were other workouts that you would want to see from me. I've been training since I was about 15. That's when I started getting into fitness and doing the research and really figuring things out. There's been a lot of trial and error throughout my fitness journey, but I feel like I finally reached a place where I understand my body and I would love to share that knowledge with all of you guys because I know there's a ton of people out there who want to kickstart their fitness journey but don't really know how. So I figured that this would be the perfect starter video for all of you guys. All these movements are very simple and easy to do. I'm so excited to put these videos together for you guys and to show you what I do. Um, and if you guys would like to see anything else from me or if there's some things that I didn't clear up and you guys have questions about, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. But I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. What's up guys? For this first exercise, I started off with a bicep opener. The point of this is to create tension throughout the entire movement. This is really just supposed to help open up those biceps and since we are doing back and biceps for today's workout, I figured it would be the perfect way to warm up. You're keeping your core engaged, you're only going down as far as your inhalation will allow you to do so, and then you are bringing your arms back up. I always like to start off my back days with some lat pull downs. I figure that this is just the perfect exercise to help turn those lats on. One thing you want to be mindful of when you're doing these is to not allow yourself to shrug. And what I mean by that is some people tend to allow their shoulders and their traps to um, raise and this basically disengages your lats and your lats are what we're trying to target in this movement. So try to keep those shoulders down and to really squeeze those lats at the bottom of the movement. This next movement I've shown you guys here is dumbbell rows. For this movement, there's a couple things that you want to keep in mind. So as you can tell, I'm keeping my hips squared, so I'm keeping them aligned with the rest of my body. You'll see once you guys try to do these for yourselves that your hips are going to want to rotate outward toward the dumbbell. But you kind of have to try to fight against that gravity because you want to take out the momentum that you would typically want to use coming from your hips and allow that lat and that back to pull the dumbbell instead of the momentum from your hips. For this particular movement, I did three sets of 10 on each side um, at a pretty heavy weight. I probably could have gone a little bit heavier though. Next, I did some bent over cable supinated rows. And what supinated means is just, is just having your palms facing up um, what I'm really focusing on here is pretty similar to what I mentioned in the lat pull downs. You do not want al to allow those traps to compensate. You want to really squeeze those shoulder blades together and keep those lats engaged. You want to pull those elbows into your sides as much as possible. Here I am just showing you from a different angle so you guys know what I mean. Um, this really targets my back. I find that this 
is a movement that I really love doing on back day um, and I really think you guys should give this a try. For these I did three sets of 10 I believe as well. This was the last back exercise that I did on this particular day. I finished off with some ring rows and I tried to keep my body as parallel to the ground as possible. The more parallel to the ground you are, the more difficult the movement is. I'm really focusing on that eccentric portion of the movement, really, really slowing it down um, to benefit from the exercise. I finished this day off with a couple bicep movements. For this first one that's being shown to you here, I started off with a superset. Um, so what a superset is, is when you basically take two exercises and you do them back to back without any break in between. So for the first part, I did 10 hammer curls, um, so 10 on each side. And then from there, once I finished the 10 unilaterally, I moved into five bilateral hammer curls. So bilateral just means moving the arms together at the same time. Whereas the first portion was the unilateral, I was only moving one arm at a time. I did three sets of these. Oh my gosh, you guys, these burn so bad. But that's the point. We want it to burn. Just push through it. For this last exercise, I did single arm bicep curls on the cables. What I was really trying to focus on here was being able to feel that bicep muscle contracting. So you'll see in this next clip here that I actually had my opposite hand on my bicep to make sure that I was feeling the contraction. Um, I have had issues in the past where one bicep contracts harder than, than the other and I'm really trying to correct that imbalance. So that's what I'm doing here. I believe I did three sets of 10 on each side. I always like to finish off my workouts with some form of cardio. Some days I'll do more of a hit style cardio session, other days I'll do more of a slower pace. For today's, I did just a mini CrossFit workout. It was just three rounds of 10 calories on the assault bike, straight into 10 burpees. And before anyone comes at me for my burpees, this is how we do them in CrossFit. Um, in CrossFit, you are supposed to move through the burpees as fast as you can. Um, so it's I wasn't doing a chest day, so it wasn't a push-up. It was intended to just be a burpee, so I'm just going to clear the air right now. Um, this is really great for getting your heart rate up toward the end of a workout. If you're just looking to do something that's really quick, um, but like I said, some days I'll do something that's more slower paced, like I'll jog for a mile, I'm just focusing on my nasal breathing, or sometimes I'll do like a 2K row. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling and if the first portion of my workout was more intense than... Um, than the end. So I kind of sped up the first portion for you guys um, and then I slowed it down to show you what it really looks like. Um, I was also trying to maintain my breathing throughout this whole thing. Um, when you are able to control your breathing, you guys, you're able to also manipulate how intense the workout is. So if you just are breathing out of your mouth like crazy, your body enters a sympathetic state and your heart rate gets out of control. Whereas if you breathe solely just through your nose or nose to mouth, you can calm that heart rate down and really pace yourself throughout the workout. Uh, don't get me wrong, there are times when you want to really get that heart rate up, but that wasn't really my intention for this ending here. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. and. Please subscribe if you guys like this video. Love you so much. Bye.